and fans welcome back it's the continuation of the six man elimination tag team match but the rules are a bit different in this matchup we are only counting the first two eliminations in this matchup the first two eliminations of the match them two people who got eliminated will be leaving OFW next gen we will then go to a fatal four-way matchup and the winner of the fatal four-way will get the final immunity in which you the fans will vote against the other three people within that fatal four-way who you want to leave OFW next gen then we'll be left with three and then three will go to OFW out of the ashes to fight in a triple threat in for the final and to get spot on OFW next gen a lot on the line is in this in this matchup it's it's a lot on the line and right now as you can see here they're trying their best to work on Aaron Snow who's tags back into Sean Rachel which is a smart thing to do I mean Aaron Snow he's tried to stay on the outside which is a wise thing to do because then if you stay on the outside you will pretty much know that you've got a spot within the fatal four-way and you can't get eliminated a net breaker by Rugaku Rugaku now tags back in Julio who in return tags back in Jacob O'Neill again trying to you know they don't want to tag each other in that's the thing but let's face it if one of your members get eliminated you have to go in you know it's one of those things and now wait a minute the signature move the net breaker the signature net breaker by Jacob O'Neill usually sets up for the cross face or the life sentence just Jacob O'Neill has been sure as hell impressive within this matchup so far and now I look at those as on the receiving end of kicks in the back of the head of Jacob O'Neill Jacob O'Neill and I know rolls out the way Sean oh god and Sean Rector has been busted open and Julio tags in gets to tag in and like a shark literally smelling blood and now look at this what's he doing oh picks him up bat breaker and Julio Vezquez could be trying to signal the end for Sean Richter and Sean though is trying his best to fight off here busted open bleeding he is trying his best misses with the kick maybe the, the oh misses hits with that one the second kick and now look at this though look at this Locks under, rolls down and logs in a leg lock. This mixed martial artist locking in submission, trying to make Julio tap. No, Julio kicking him straight into the mouth. My God, the ref is out on the ropes lock. And now, oh, 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 and a kick around the head. And the ref's coming back too, and the ref's trying to get order back within this matchup. This match has just been insane so far. Now. Look at this holds it no DDT spiking him on his head. And now could Julio Vesquez be tried to signal for the end? No. Sean reverses. Oh punches him and drops Jacob O'Neill down to the floor from that punch. Looks like he swung around, hit Jacob O'Neill, and then hit hit Oh look at Oh! The center into the corner. Oh, wait a minute now. Rugaku got the pin. Punches Aaron Snow. Punches Matthias, and now wait a minute now. Look at this. He's lifting him up for the power bomb. The crucifix power bomb drops him down. And wait a minute now. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Aaron Snow is left next gen. And Rugaku is happy. That is it. Aaron Snow is no longer in next gen. We just need one more elimination and then we move to the fatal four-way to decide the last immunity Aaron Snow had a great run in next gen you could say Rugaku got some revenge on Aaron Snow after Aaron Snow pinned him last week wait a minute pin held Jacob O'Neill one two no oh, that was close oh so very close indeed now Matthias and Sean Richter are in a handicap match but we're just waiting for a second elimination it could happen on either side this is unpredictable now 
this is you know it it, it could go any way now all men seem to be hurt here apart from Matthias Matthias is putting the pain onto Jacob O'Neill suplex another suplex and a third suplex on Jacob O'Neill and it looks like Matthias is going to try and tag in Sean Richter and he does and here comes Sean Richter now no, gets reversed by Jacob O'Neill straight away. And oh, falls to the outside. And now, Jacob O'Neill tags back in Rugaku, who eliminated, who eliminated Aaron Snow moments ago. And we just need one more elimination. Then we move to the fatal four-way matchup. Look at this now. Both men on the outside. And yet, even though... Both men are outside and we still need one elimination. Both men can still be eliminated from this matchup. And which means they're both eliminated from next gen. Which then automatically means we don't need to go to the fatal four way. Because we know who the other two or the, or the, or the final three will be. But both men are back in the ring now. Now they're doing a number on Sean Richter. And uh, this is not looking good for Sean Richter here. But he is trying his best to fight out Jacob O'Neill. Oh, the spinning kick by Sean Richter. Needs to tag in Matthias. Matthias is the fresher man out of the two. And yet, oh my god, look at this now. Look at this. The kick rushing. Oh, and he kicks Rugaku. And Rugaku's busted open. But is that enough to pull away Rugaku? No, he's straight back up. Kick to the stomach. Now, what's he plan on doing here? Oh, lifts him up. Drops him down. The strength of Sean Richter's unbelievable here. Oh, wait, what was he plan on doing? Oh, wait a minute. He's locking up for a Tiger Bob. Dropping Rugaku. One. Two. It's going to be it. No. Julian Vesquez saves it. Rugaku there. Don't know why he would do such a thing on such a giant. I don't know why. But Rugaku is still in after you next gen. For the moment, you could say. We just need one more elimination. And now look at this. Jacob O'Neill comes back into the match. Lifts him up with Goku and slams Sean Richter to the floor. And now, what's, what's Jacob O'Neill thinking of doing here? Jumping off, elbow. And now, he's going up again. Oh, God. Oh, Sean Richter knew that was coming that time. A rookie mistake, you could say, by Jacob O'Neill. And now, oh, look at this now. Locking up. Matthias, the fresher man, most probably the freshest man in this matchup. And he's. Jacob O'Neill is fighting his own against him here. Now, what's he plan on doing? No, gets reversed. Jacob O'Neill now. No, gets knee to the stomach. Jacob O'Neill is trying his best. He has shown a lot of heart now. Out in pass, out wrestling, Matthias, you could say. But now look at this. Oh, he tags back in to Rugaku and now Iptos there by Rugaku and Rugaku in turn just tags in um, Julio and Julio now oh gets thrown to the face Irish whips into the corner fires now tags back into Sean look at this now look at this look at this oh my god dropping Julio face first down to the floor and I think Julio wouldn't like that and now, oh my god, look at this chokehold. Dropping Julio down to the mat, trying to choke him out. No, the ref told him to break it. His chokeholds are illegal. And wait a minute, look, look at this. Matthias is holding Julio. And now look at this. Oh, and a slap around the face of Julio. And a kick. No, no. Oh, what happened there? Look, he switched legs. Wait a minute, pin. One, two, and oh, Matthias breaks it up. We just need one more elimination the last elimination of this match will make it go to the fatal four way Aaron Snow has now been is another guy has been another person eliminated from RFW next gen now this is getting intense I can't believe this now look at this now Sean Richter leaving again maybe he uh, it could be a smart tactic Jacob O'Neill is telling him to get back in the ring clothesline on fires maybe Jacob O'Neill's getting angry Maybe, I'm not sure. No, wait a minute now. Sean Richter trying to maybe sneak up from behind. He leaves again. Jacob O'Neill. Clothesline Sean Richter off. Sean Richter 
you know, maybe annoying Jacob O'Neill, maybe trying to frustrate Jacob O'Neill to make him do a amateur mistake. Maybe. Look at this now. Oh, kicks! Just went and kicked him in the uh, stomach there. Wait, oh, wait, look at this! Oh my god! Falls to the outside, and as I said, it's a do could be a double elimination. If it's double elimination, Sean Riggs and Jacob O'Neill could be both eliminated. The rest at two. And that looks like they're going to try and do a number on Jacob O'Neill on the outside, slamming him to the floor. First at four. We've got to be careful here. Five. John Ritz back in the ring, so is Jacob O'Neill. Jacob O'Neill now. It's thrown to the corner. Jacob O'Neill reverses Sean Richter. Now punches Sean Richter. He'll kick to the face. Jacob O'Neill is picking up and showing his ability, Bulldog. And now what's this? Look at this. Look at this schoolboy rollover. One, two, a five. Just breaks it up. It's not looking good for Sean. Richter hit him this moment and they tell you time into Gurry with reversal. Now tags in Julio. Julio receives a kick to the face. And Sean kick to the stomach of Julio. And now Julio. Julio, quick roll up. Wait a minute here. One, two, three. It is all over, fans. We are now going to move to the fatal four way straight away. Look, they're fighting each other straight away. Sean Richter has been eliminated from OFW next gen. We are now into the fatal four way. Here's a pin. No, we got to race it up. We are now into the fatal four way. The winner of this fatal four will get the immunity. It will then lead to the final, the lower three who lost, being a voting thing. Being the voting thing, apologise, what the voting thing? In, in the voting polls, you then vote for who you want to eliminate from OFW next gen. The person who is eliminated, the other two that stay in will meet the meet the person who won the immunity out of the ashes in a triple threat. The finals, this is now, you could say, the semi-finals for OFW next gen. And they are all going out of here. And now... Again, maybe they're trying to work on Rugaku, trying to get the big man out of this matchup. Jacob O'Neill receives a belly to belly. Tommy dropped there by Rugaku. And another one by Rugaku. And now, Julio Vezquez reverses. Ankle up there by Mathias. Bulldog there by Julio Vezquez. And now, Jacob O'Neill reverses Mathias. Kick Mathias to the stomach. There's a surfball locked in there. Wait, oh, breaks it up. And now, my eyes kicked to the stomach. And now Rugaku. Irish whip into the corner. Rugaku now. Oh no, gets reversed. Jacob O'Neill gets reversed again. And Rugaku. Headbutt on Jacob O'Neill. My fires there. Bull drop kicking. Julio Vezquez. The final four within OFW Next Gen. Season 1. It's been an amazing amazing time we've seen so many rookies it has been unbelievable it has been a, a great show we thank you for watching and enjoying it and Mathias with a big ball oh, pulled up by Julio a close line by Rugaku these final four want to get to the triple threat final out of the ashes to get a chance to be part of OFW one, one of the rising core leagues but here we go it's a pin on what? No. That was unbelievably close. And now look at his flow over DDT by Jacob O'Neill. He's got to have eyes in the back of your head in this match. It's hard to commentate. I was saying, look at this Jacob O'Neill. Has just been sure as hell impressive, I have to admit, within this matchup. Fans, right now, wait a minute, here's a pin, wait a minute, here's a pin, wait a minute, here's a pin, wait a minute. No, my fight's breaks it up and we have to go to a break. We'll be right back.